What's up, guys? My name is Bailey 91 and I have to take a massive dump. Now, isn't that the best way to enjoy a video? I have to take a massive dump, and a thing that you now cannot not know. When making this video, Balin had to take a dump. I don't think there's anything different about knowing that. Woo. I don't know why, but my controls are a little messed up right now, so we'll deal with it as time goes by. So... If you're checking out right now, this is the 1.3 server. It's been updated. Everybody, if you stop bitching about it, you know, we could actually get to work, but people were going, eh, update the server. Eh. And guys, I need to explain right away off the bat. I'm going to stay still while I'm explaining this to you. When a server updates, the, I mean the game updates, what happens is all the plugins and the bucket, bucket is the thing that runs all the plugins, are now gone. Because basically the new version has new coding, unless... There are some similarities, and some people have prepared for when the thing updates, but not everything. So, guys, Bucket needs to update first, and that only takes, uh, usually it takes about five days. Sometimes it can go up to two weeks, because I remember when 1.2 came out, it took literally like three weeks to update. So, you could imagine the, the bitching fest I got. So, guys, it got updated, and the strange thing was is we did it. We, uh, we updated the, with the new Bucket. And then we looked at our plugins, and almost all of them were working. We have some that aren't working, so you have to bear with us. But once, you know, the official version of Bucket releases and the new plugin uh, wave comes in, because people, they rush and finish their plugins first. So when those come out, guys, we'll have everything up and running. Now, guys, here are the rules for the 1.3 server. Number one, have fun. And there's a counter-argument to this somehow. Somebody was like, well, what if I don't want to have fun? We'll make you have fun. Because if you don't have fun, we're going to forcibly make you have fun. And we mean it. We're not joking about that shit. Please avoid excessive profanities. Just don't come on swearing and using racism every two seconds, because nobody wants to deal with that. I'm all for swearing, and if you're a racist asshole, I'll give you one racist joke before I say, hey, dude, come on, give it a break. Because sometimes people are just joking around. And I mean, I think the topic of racism in words is retarded because sometimes you know people are stupid and sometimes it's ignorant but whatever it's a whole different topic report any problems on our website forum uh number four no hacking whatsoever now guys i'm going to talk about this one i have to kind of do a sidebar for it tom is completely against hacking i on the other hand am okay with non-malicious hacking what that means is in the pvp world no hacking that is absolutely not tolerated. I will ban you on sight. I don't care if I've known you for as long as possible. If you're cheating in there, I'm banning you because I'm not dealing with people going, Ugh, he's cheating. But in the survival world, if you're fly cheating in there, I'm not really going to care. However, if you're using x-ray or DOSing us, you're gone. Guys, nothing malicious. If you're attacking other players with the hacking, you're gone. But if you're doing something like, oh, I wanted the fly, you know, so I could build my house a little faster. Well, what's the harm in that? Don't x-ray, though, because then it's like if somebody else goes mining in those mines, there's no minerals because you took them all. I mean, that's all it is, guys. We're just trying to be fair. But in the PvP world, not tolerated. No matter how small it is, it's not tolerated. Number five, please report any auction manipulation to staff. You will be rewarded for helping us keep our economy. If you find something like... Hey, it's really easy to farm cobblestone and smelt it in stone, and you can get so much money that you can buy spawners like every hour. A spawner is supposed to be very expensive. Now, if you guys don't know already, we have a emerald shop, and I'll bring that up later. But basically, guys, if you, if there's tampering with the auction house system, please report it to us. We want to know what's wrong. Uh, no excessive linking. The same thing as the swearing rule. I don't mind if you want to post your YouTube channel. I don't mind if you want people to go see a picture of something. I don't mind it. If it's a link to something we don't trust, though, we'll kick you out because we're not dealing with anyone getting viruses. And, you know, but at the same time, if you do it, like, more than twice or three times, chances are we're going to kick you because we just don't, we don't want to deal with that. And if you do it and you come back and you break it again, we're going to uh, temp ban you or permanently ban you if you're leaking the IP to another server saying, oh, this server sucks, go to this server instead. You're probably going to get banned for that. Other than that, we'll probably just fuck you around with you and mute you. Seven. Harassing and malicious attack will be met with equal force. Now, what that means is, let's just say you're using a, a hack, and it's your first offense, maybe, but we, we know you, so we're comfortable with not banning you right off the bat. Chances are we'll go into your base and take everything you own, or maybe you loot, you'll lose all your MCMMO skills, or you just happen to have no money. It's called equal force, guys. We're going to take revenge on you if you cheat and you say sorry, you know. 
Uh, eight, the survival world is to be peaceful. Do not grieve. The PvP world doesn't matter. Go blow everything up inside. Who cares a fuck? What that means is, guys, in the survival world, we're going to have probably some PvP on But the thing is, is that if we find people camping at PvP and raiding in there, you're gone. Because the survival world is for people who really don't want to fight. They want to build. But at the same time, we got to keep it realistic and say, well, sometimes people want to fight. And, you know, they don't want to fight against each other. But if you're doing it too much, you're kicked out. Because if you want to do that, we're going to have separate member ranks for the PvP world and one for the uh, survival world. That way we can kind of level off things and how they work. Because, uh, guys, if you're doing this stuff, chances are we're not going to be liking it. Now, what you're seeing here is the teleport to the wilderness. Uh, the wilderness is actually going to be the survival world. This is the peaceful one. And it, on the other side is going to be the same thing right over here. It's just going to be the PvP world. And I don't know why this screen's doing this right now, but whatever. Over here is Auction House, Hunger Games, and Player Shops. Hunger Games is currently down. When the 1.3 update came out, the Hunger Games plugin crashed, so it's not working right now. Now, the Auction House, and I'm sure you people have already seen the new spawn if you haven't already, is uh, pretty good. I'm still working on it, and instead of tackling it all at once like I normally do, I'm doing it periodically, so you got to deal with me and, you know, my speed, because, I mean, I've done an Auction House so many times that my eyes are bleeding from it. But if you guys, if you see manipulations, or you see griefing, or you see something... Uh, not right, or you see a manipulation, report it to us, and we will reward you for that. Because, I mean, I I had Caboose fuck with my server so much that uh, everything got to shit, so I had no economy in the last server, so this time I want to keep it. So guys, if you see problems, then report it. Now down here is the Emerald Shop, if I can warp to it. Emerald Shop is the gold shop, but it's refined. Emerald Shop is, basically, whatever you find in Emerald, you can trade these for really valuable items. And the trading rate is going to be one emerald will buy you two diamonds. So that's a pretty big deal, guys. You know, you have your items over here. These are really just quick buy items. And anything sold in the emerald shop that is also sold upstairs is going to be cheaper. So your best bet is to be using this shop because it's, it's just way better priced. Uh, but basically, the whole point that we started this economy system up is uh, because we thought when people are PvPing, something pretty cool could happen is that what if money wasn't the currency? Because when you die, you don't lose money unless you make a plugin for that. However, if you die, you lose all your items. Well, why not make emerald a type of currency where if you hold it and somebody were to raid you and steal your emeralds, you just ended up broke. It's a pretty cool system. It's a nice idea. It's not too, like, uh, it's a little more savage focused, but it keeps people fighting, and I like that idea. Now, uh, over here, this area is actually closed down. What this is, is right over here, you see this temp temporary close sign. Uh, I'm going to fly up and show you. As you see over there, these plot lands. There are two types of member rings. There is a PvP member, and then there is a survival member. Now, basically, these plot lands, when a survival member comes up, these are 25 by 25 plot lands. A survival member can buy these lands and also put chests in there, but they're going to be fairly expensive because the survival world's there. However, if you're a PvP member, the plot lands are actually going to be 16 by 16, and you, can, you can't put any chests in there. They're just for appearance. So, guys, you're going to be able to have your own house to yourself, or if you want to move in with somebody else, uh, you can move in with them. We have to get the plug-in, though, which is why it's not open yet. But it's just really a cool city idea. You can have your own house, and then you can have a house in the survival world, and it just adds a cool aspect of when you're in here, you're 100% safe. Now, over here I showed you already, I'm pretty sure you people remember from the last video, is HG. This is the Hunger Games. You'll walk in here, and then you'll see little signs on this uh, block, and it'll warp you to the Hunger Games lobby. And from there, you will be able to direct yourself in any way you want and fight with people. Over here are donor markets. Now, guys, I had a great idea, and this is how it's going to work. These markets down here are for big-time package donors, which are package deals that are above $15 to $25 for donating. And these packages last uh, between two months and six months, depending on which one you get. Because I realize that a month is too short. I'd rather give people two months for a more comfortable one. Now, over here are merchant shops. Now, you can earn these by either earning a prestige level of uh, five, or you can donate $5 to the server for two-month access to your own little shop. These ones are just a little smaller size. They're just different. But, you know, they're really cool and they're really fun. Now, what we're going to do that I actually had the really good idea is, in the survival world, we're gonna, it's also an RPG world. So, survival and RPG. But the main city is going to have uh, shops like that too. And much like the prestige thing, 
if you donated, you'll also get a shop over there, but the market's going to be a lot bigger. And if you prestige only twice, which is not that hard to get, so if you prestige twice, you can get a shop in there as well. And if you don't know what prestiging is, it's in the forum website, and you'll see what it is, and you'll see the rewards you can earn for prestiging. Now, guys, this is the server so far. We are working very vigorously to make sure everybody gets what they want. You know, we're going to do everything we can. Oh, and before I forget, this area over here is going to be the warp to the Spleething Arena and the Mob Arena and any other mini games we might do. We were trying to work on an archery range, but it's kind of hard to do. So, guys, be sure to check out the server. Hang out on here. Uh, we're actually getting a lot more people than we normally do. So, guys, I encourage you, come join us, come hang out, and we're working as hard as we can to make sure everything's fully functional. And if you don't like us, suck a dick. <laughs> I'm evil. But guys, if you have problems, anything to report, you send the message to me or Tom underscore Echo, uh, not our emails, when we're on the game, because we're going to be on a lot. And if you do have problems, please feel free to post on the forum, make an account, post on the forum, reporting any problems, moderator, admin abuse, anything of that nature, guys, and we will be sure to address it in a proper manner. We are official people, and we want to be sure that everybody has a fair and fun game style. However, one thing I always mention is we're not here to cater to your needs. If you're coming in here and then you're like, OP me, go fuck off. We don't care about you. And if you're coming in here and you're saying, I need food to survive, go fuck off. You're not welcome here. I mean, if you just happen to be a nice guy we know who you are and you're like, hey guys, can I get like two pieces of bread? Different story. But if you're somebody in here and you start making demands at us, we're not even going to address you. And chances are you're probably going to get kicked for it because we're not here to please you guys. We're here to provide a server that's fun for everybody and make sure... Everybody has fun and equal chance to progress and have fun, guys. So if you like this video, write some comments. Don't need to like, don't need to subscribe, but there's a lot of cool things to do on the server, and we're going to make sure everybody has fun, guys. So I will check you later, and don't be uh, afraid to leave a comment. I love comments, guys. I like hearing your feedback.